This is Colin Digits and Life in the Digits Club, where we are going to have a look for the first time at the Digits mainframe. The connection to the ecosystem, the final setup that we will be working with. Anything in these videos, obviously alpha information, the products are not live just yet, but the agents are going to be minted soon, which means the ecosystem will open up. All of the information in this video is subject to change, so it is not 100% final. However, we are 99% of the way there. Everything is definitely looking real good. And we're going to start off with a little bit of a ecosystem overview. So let's get started right there. I'll share my screen. And then we head over to this uh, amazing little overview, which makes it easy for you to understand. I just need to grab the chat where we can see. There we go. So on the overview, as you can see, it's a, a sketch flowchart of what the ecosystem will look like in the current setup. One thing is very important. I'm not going to repeat all the information that was announced before because there are a large variety of changes. I'm going to present the information as is coded into the system right now. So first of all, the agents will not give you access to the ecosystem. The agents will yield points. The points will give you access to the ecosystem. Very important. DigitsPath allocation NFTs will no longer only be useful for DigitsPath. DigitsPath allocation NFTs also yield points that are usable for the entire ecosystem as a whole. Are you currently a DigitsPath holder? Then of course you have a major advantage here. How it's going to work, each of these NFT collections can be staked on the Digits mainframe. The Digits mainframe is where your account will be created, your wallet will be connected, and it will be your entry central place for the entire Digits ecosystem. Every time you will come back to the mainframe, as obviously is the name, mainframe, to be able to check your points and distribute your points among the ecosystem. The DigitsPath allocation NFTs will yield less points than the agent relative to their original mint price. So 0.2 Ethereum relative to one Ethereum-ish which means that the agents will yield five times as much points as a digit pad allocation NFT would. This is on a, a one to five ratio or a five to one ratio in that case. Uh, irrelevant is there the staking time and the quantity that will give boosts and the boosts are not included in this ratio. So how that's exactly going to work, what you would have to think about is that the mainframe is basically the main section and it basically siphons up uh, to the entire ecosystem and the siphons that will be sent are the points. The points will unlock each of the several products, which basically means each of the products need to hold points or uh, needs uh, requires you to, to, to burn points in order to get access to certain tools, right? The question is, how do we get points? Let's start with the points on the overview. So it basically starts uh, on this overview, right? So this is what the inside of the platform uh, will look like. You have a left-hand side menu and we are right now on the staking tab. There are two core pools in the Digits mainframe protocol, Digits Agents NFT, and Digits Path Allocation NFT pools, both of which yield reward points. The higher the lock duration and amount of NFT staked, the higher the amount of reward points received. You can choose between a Digits Agent pool on the left and a Digits Agent Path pool. The numbers, the, the percentages, they're just placeholders, right? You can click uh, stake, and once you click stake, so the choice of two different pools for the two different collections, it will basically bring you to this overview. Where again, you have an overview of how it would work. So there are two main staking options. 
Uh, you can choose between the amount of NFTs you would like to stake and the duration of the locked staking. A higher amount of NFT stake results in a higher stack booster, which is a compounding multiplier. It's not only a multiplier, but it compounds as well. A longer duration locked staking results in a higher uh, duration booster. The most significant effect is applied on the duration, but a compounded uh, approach is also applied to the quantity. Uh, the maximum is not 10. There will be a custom feature there as well. So you could add more than 10. However, the compounding goes from one to 10. If after 10, you can only get the base increment of the points. So this is not the actual point yield. The point yield per agent will actually be higher than one. It's either 10 or 100, but these are the ratios that are being displayed here. So let's say we select one agent, you don't get a stack booster. You select two agents, you get 7% boost, 13%, 19%, and it basically increases the higher you go, right? It basically generates you a subtotal and relative to the duration staked, uh, it gives you the total points. What happens is that you can basically increase the duration and then you get a significant gain on that, where obviously the one and two year gives a ridiculous boost. So you can basically see for zero days, you get a minus 50%. So if you don't lock your NFT, we actually reduce your point gain. If you lock it for 30 days, that is the baseline that has 0% gain, 60%, 5%, 90 days, 15%, 180 days, 40%, 365 days, 100%, and 720 days, which is two years, 400%. Uh, this is locked staking. You cannot move and or sell your NFTs for this duration. Uh, if you would have 10 NFTs staked for 720 days, you would basically yield a 78.95 ratio uh, in this case. Relative to the base is a half. So definitely you will have a significant way over the platform as is compared to obviously all of the uh, other users on the platform, right? Uh, well, let me see where we're going. So basically, if we head over to the dashboard, um, we'll have a point summary. So you'll see some graphs, right? You, you'll see some uh, distribution of where your points are at and where you have sent your points, right? And this is basically our next Point of discussion. So the staking is quite simple. The longer you stake, the more you stake, there are more rewards. Rewards are specifically focused on the more you stake is the first initial gain, and the more significant gain is on the duration that you stake. As I said before, digits pet allocation NFTs yield five times less points than the agents because the price is five times less. When we uh, look at the dashboard, of course, a complete overview of your points, how much you're going to yield, where your points are in the ecosystem, and basically your wallet, your accounts are connected across the ecosystem. So how it works is you're gaining points on the mainframe. There is a product there, which is called the Digits Redeemer, which is, let me remove this, let me go to the right overview, which is right here. And it says transfer your points around the ecosystem. The Redeemer is right here on the menu. This is a shortcut right there, which basically means that you can send your points into the Redeemer and then grant access to the products. So of course, to get access to track digits in this case, you it will function on a point subscription. So you need to activate the subscription for track digits in your mainframe account, which will cost an X percentage of points uh, per month. And then it will automatically renew. So it will basically uh, subtract the points from your account. If it's not available, the points, then your track digits get locked. Uh, so basically track digits is free and consumed with points. Uh, for Digits Club, it would work the same way, but we, we haven't figured out the tech there yet, so I can't really go into too much detail there. Of course, this is very basic, right? Software, quite simple, just a membership fee, but not charged in money, but charged in points. For the Digits Redeemer, the Digits Pad and the Digits Treasury are obviously the most important ones. 
because you need to send your points to these products to be able to participate in the active pools on these products. If you have seen the Digits Pad walkthrough tutorial, you know how the, the pools work, but you need points. As the staking doesn't happen on Digits Pad, you need to send your points from the mainframe to Digits Pad to be able to participate. There will be several important metrics, like you can send your points to Digits Pad, but you cannot send your points back to the mainframe. The mainframe works only one way. You can send your points to each of the products and that's it. For example, when a pool opens on DigitsPad, 24 hours inside the Digits Club Discord, there will be an announcement um, or at least 72, 48 hours and then 24 hours before the pool opens, the DigitsPad redeemer gets frozen, which means you cannot send points. This is to prevent manipulation of the pools by people trying to make whale moves. Right, so before the actual pools open, the, the redeemer is frozen, so you cannot send points to DigitsPad. Obviously, you can send it anywhere else in the system. You will see lots of these minor protection units all across the ecosystem to make sure that the ecosystem uh, works properly and efficiently, right? At some point in the future, so this is basically how the products will function. You, as a staker, yield points, uh, the points go into the redeemer and you get to choose which products you want to use, right? You as an NFT holder, stake your NFT on your pool of your choice. You get X amount of points per day. The points stack up. You push them into the redeemer and, and send them to whichever product you want to use. On track digits, the points will be consumed. Digits club, the points will likely be consumed. On digits pet and the treasury, they will basically be on your account, on your balance, and you can spend it on the active pools there. Quite a simple process. Obviously, at scale, there are a lot of interesting things. One thing that we're working on, which will not happen for the next four to six months, but it is in the pipeline, and we want to announce it because it's a major, major feature, is that you will have potentially, potentially the options from the digits mainframe to go through the redeemer and create a point NFT, which means that you as a point yielder, when there's obviously a certain amount of people participating in the ecosystem and more people want to participate in the ecosystem, you have an abundance of points because every day you get more points as an NFT staker you have the option potentially to create a point NFT. Get your points, push them into an NFT and sell them on the Digits Marketplace. The Digits Marketplace then, people would be able to uh, buy your points with a stable coin and they can basically withdraw the points on the Redeemer in their account and then fuel the ecosystem if they don't have a NFT that yields points, or if they would like to have more points. So in that case, you have the choice to either participate actively in the ecosystem products that are available to you, or you could decide to sell your points. Again, this is not on the short-term roadmap. However, it is something that will be on the roadmap 100%, right? So that's why I'm announcing it today you will basically have the ability to sell your points if you want to. The terms and conditions related to that will be quite tight because obviously we monitor the economy uh, regarding these points very precisely. In the initial launch phase, there will the marketplace will be there, but it will not be used for the points. The marketplace, the digits marketplace will go live as a um, whitelist marketplace. So the whitelist spots are being moved from DigitsPad to Digits Marketplace, and DigitsPad will only do the NFTs and the allocation pools. So we decided to move that because of the infrastructure of the economy. Digits Marketplace will basically be doing the NFT whitelists. The question is one point equal to $1? I don't know. It's an economy. 
we don't sell any points as the digits brands team. The only people selling the points is the people yielding the points potentially, uh, and they can make up their own pricing. So they, you can set any price you like for your points as you would with an NFT on OpenSea. So it's based on a supply and demand basis, depending of course, if you don't sell, uh, use <laughs> all of your uh, points, obviously, right? Relative to um, the marketplace, as I said, so on digits pad, you will have the allocation pools and the NFT pools. And then on the actual marketplace, there will be a whitelist marketplace. So the whitelist pools are being moved from digits pad to the marketplace. On the mainframe, let's go back to the mainframe, there will also be governance. Based on staking requirements, there will be continuous, again, top 100, or we haven't dialed in the terms yet, but there will be a staking combination between quantity and duration that will allow you automatic access to the governance, where basically the voting happens, whether everybody is included or only certain individuals are included. This would basically replace the chosen DAO. Why? Because it's no longer manual. We upload the governance pool and you guys can actively partake in the voting without us having to do a lot of manual labor related to it. People that are inactive are basically automatically removed from the governance voting. People that are extremely active can be granted additional perks on the governance voting. Uh, long staking can include veto rights, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, with the mainframe being the center of the ecosystem, it would only make sense to include the governance there, as this is probably one of the websites that you would have uh, as shortcut as a bookmark on your desktop anyway, uh, where we're basically going to add all future products as well to the mainframe function with this point system. Uh, and basically give you the entire experience for the ecosystem through this setup. How long did that take? Only took me 20 minutes to explain. That's not that bad. Can you quickly explain uh, buy and sell points? Again, for the next four to six months, this is not a feature that will be implemented. It is something for the long-term roadmap you would yield points for staking your agent NFT, X amount of points per day, depending on the staking you've chosen. These points can be used for each of the products. You need to spend points on a track digit subscription. You need to spend points on digits path to participate in the pools. You can spend points on the digits treasury to participate in those pools. Let's say you have an abundant amount of, so let's say you have 10 agents and you stake them for two years. I would assume in that case, if you're, if you're participating in everything, you might not have any points, but let's say you participate in half of the pools, you might have some leftover points. You can choose to sell those points eventually once the point side of the marketplace goes live. The marketplace will go live when the agents mint, but in that case, it will be a whitelist marketplace, right? The marketplace will later be extended with the option to create point NFTs and sell those point NFTs only on our own marketplace, right? They will also be on a different chain to make all the gas stuff, but that's like a whole different topic, right? Again, not something short term, but something that is extremely important if you're considering picking up an agent uh, because there is obviously a very limited supply of these agents, which makes them, in my opinion, a lot more attractive if I would know that, yes, I have all of this utility, but in addition of that, I also have the future opportunity to potentially sell off my points if I would like to, if I'm looking more at like a two, three, four year play, that when the whole Digits Brands ecosystem grows, your agent NFT with its point yield is still the foundation of everything, which I think is important to consider. Any other questions on this or all clear? Because that's quite some updates, I think, compared to the last time we went over these things. This is the staking.
Will you expand more at some point in the coming months in the details of the roadmap for the next two months to make people mind about staking for two years? Yes, uh, we will discuss the roadmap, but it's basically the utility of the point. So when we are going to be close to the mint, all of the treasury numbers will be dialed in, the digits bet pools, the upcoming pools will be there. And it's basically, the question is, how long do you want to be with the brands, right? With the digit brands ecosystem while it's being built out. On the other side, the question is, um, how many agents are you going to obtain, right? So it's the whole system, what you have to understand as a whole, uh, this one not, right? This is just a base fee in terms of points. Uh, but the digits path and the digits treasury is basically very important that it's a weighted average. So the longer you stake, the more points you have. And because if other people stake short, then obviously you have a lot more points all of a sudden. As I did show in the example right here, if I would have two NFTs and I stake them for 30 days, my ratio weight is 2.1. Right. If you're going to compete with somebody who has 10 NFTs staking them for two years, their weight is 88, their pool weight. Right. So they have a lot more points and therefore can gain a lot more utility. Obviously, it costs a lot more money. Right. So, but even if you would stake two NFTs for, for two years relative to 30 days, you would have five times 500% higher uh, ratio weight. So it's definitely extremely fair. To, to, to leave the choice with you on what you want to do. Uh, you cannot stake different amount of times. So if you would stake first, then the next thing you want to stake. So let's say you have three agents, you stake them for 30 days, right? Three agents for 30 days. If you want to add one agent because you buy it from OpenSea, you will only have the choice to get four agents to stake one more or multiples. And you can only choose the initial timer or longer. You cannot choose a different uh, one in that case. So it will either add, and at that time, your 30 days refreshes. So if you are on 10 days until the lock expires, the lock goes back to 30 days. That is important to note. It's basically like any other staking pool in that case. Okay, to repeat, because the question shows that it's not clear. Should we stake in the treasury? There is no staking per individual product. Your staking happens in the mainframe, mainframe staking dashboard. There is no other choice than to stake here. You need to make a choice out of uh, these two pools, either digits path allocation or uh, digits agents. Right, then you select the quantity, you select the duration, and then you stake them. So they are staked right here, which means you yield points. Then you send these points to the items that you want. Very important, you can send your points to the treasury or to the digits path, but you cannot send them back to the mainframe. Right, it's only a one way thing. So make sure you choose correctly. Also, don't wait with sending your points because at some point when the pools open up, as I mentioned, the sending of the points will be blocked. But there will be a tremendous amount of explanations, white paper information related to this on how this will work in detail. So you can watch the videos time and time again, join all the AMAs, read the white paper, and you'll never uh, be able do not ask any questions, right? So this will be 100% clear. Uh, the digits path allocation NFTs have a different pool than the agents. So there you do have an option to choose a different time length. Just note, as I said, the digits allocation, uh, a digits path allocation NFTs have a five times less point yield than the agents. You still have the choice in how many you would want to, to be able to stake, uh, but they yield five times less points. So you would need a higher quantity to be able to match the points of the agents. And this has to do because the weight is relative to the original mint price, which is only fair. Is there a point difference? Yes, that's what I just said. So five times lower than the agent. This one is 0.99 ETH on the uh, main list. And this one was 0.2 ETH 
which basically means five times lower. That is the calculation we have applied and what we will be using most likely. Yes. Any other questions? What about the golden agent? The golden agent doesn't yield, yield more points. It's just a status symbol, which includes a unique Discord role. So the golden agent is a one of one NFT, but it does come with obviously on the leaderboard, it shows a thousand points if you're able to solve all the riddles in the run up to the mint. And those points will be automatically added to your account from the golden agent from day one. So from day zero, basically, as soon as the agents are minted uh, and it's in your wallet, that wallet will be granted a thousand points ahead of the competition of everybody else. Uh, yes, the public agent price is 1.59 ETH. That is right. But we're going to work with a five to one ratio. Obviously, keeping in mind that a lot of people already have the DigiSpad NFTs and they're already in circulation. So a five to one ratio is that what we're working with. Uh, a lot of people have many of these digits pad allocation NFTs and the, the staking pool requirements are the same. So the compounding only goes up to tenfold. Yes. All righty. Any other questions perhaps? No, but this is basically the feed, as I said, where you can basically show this is the yield that you got. You send some points to some products and then you'll basically get a whole transaction overview as well of where you send your points. So you know where to find them. So where you can basically see, okay, on the mainframe, you got 12 points. You send 156 points to the digits pad, 600 points to the marketplace. Track digits has consumed this many points. And that's basically how you're able to see where your points are in the ecosystem. Nice little graph on the yield that you're going to experience. And if you want to transfer points, you can either click here or go to Redeemer. And then uh, you can basically set, move your points around the ecosystem that way. Uh, obviously, the great thing for the ecosystem itself, it's all off chain, except the marketplace when you want to do the NFT that will be on chain. But we're going to launch the ecosystem off chain, which means that there's no gas by sending around the points, et cetera. It's all gas free. The mainframe will launch the day the agents are minted. So when the agents are minted, basically that same day, uh, you'll be able to connect your wallet. Uh, once you connect your wallet, if you're, if so yeah, that's a good question actually. If you would connect your wallet to each of these products without having points or staking done in the mainframe, you won't be able to go inside of the products. So if you go to DigitPad, you connect your wallet, you don't have uh, any points uh, or staking active on the mainframe, it will just say you need to go to the mainframe and stake an NFT to be able to get access to this product. Uh, yeah, so that's it. The subscription for track digits will be monthly. Yes, so we, we're going to start up with a monthly subscription in terms of points. Uh, we might change it later to quarterly, annually, uh, and then we're looking how to implement something on Digits Club, but because it's on Discord, it's not that easy. So for now, all I can say is that if you have an agent in your wallet, um, you would get access to the right thing. If you have digits pad, you would have get access to the right thing in digits club that, that's fixed for now. So as I said, we're looking to see what the opportunities are here, but because as you can imagine, there's a lot of work on the ecosystem still, uh, we, uh, we haven't put the focus on Digits Club because it's pretty fine how it is right now. There's a lot of utility for the agents. There's a lot of utility for these points. And Digits Club will obviously always be the center of communication anyway. So therefore, it is not our priority, but it would be nice to, to check that. Uh, we will have a custom Discord bot, which is basically a Digits mainframe bot. Anything that happens 
inside the ecosystem, the bot will communicate inside the digits club. So when pools open, when pools close, when there's new options for track digits, when there are anything from blocks to medium to, to treasury, uh, staking pools, new rewards, uh, new marketplace offerings, whitelist opportunities, the bot will basically push everything inside Digits Club, it will be very organized. So every day, once a day, you can check Digits Club if you're not hanging out there already and basically uh, pick up the latest what's going on inside the ecosystem. So it's extremely efficient. It's extremely built agilely. So we can basically expand it quite quickly. We can monitor th things extremely well. And of course, you can have the best experience on where to spend your points and how to spend them, right? Which is... Uh, I think one of the more interesting things about this overview. All righty. Anything else on the questions list from you guys? Or is everything clear? I hope everything is clear. Yeah, I assume so. If there's no more questions, and you can always file your questions once you think of them next week, uh, or even on Discord, right? You can just tag me on Discord with any questions. Next week, we'll do a recap of what we spoke about today, go over it once more. And then next week, I will have more updates on the mainframe. Because of course, as always, this is not everything. It's definitely a work in progress. So while we are building out the system, there are more things to show you as well. More updates on the agents coming next week. And off we go on to the next level of the Digits ecosystem. Thanks so much for your time. I will see you guys in 30 minutes because there will be another AMA with KD launch, which will be quite exciting, of course, inside the Digits Club Discord. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great rest of your day.